Hey guys, so since I have two little girls, I've been dying to make one of these bow holders. And since I was making them anyways, I just decided to make a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So first you want to find two frames of your choice. You can find these at Goodwill or you can find them at any craft store. I have these in storage so they're a little bit dusty so I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol and I'm just wiping them down. And then I'm taking a teal spray paint and a purple spray paint and I'm going to do a few coats on each frame just to make sure that it's all covered and you want to make sure you get the sides and the inside as well. Because the purple frame has a lot of grooves, I'm actually going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to make sure that all of the paint is inside each groove. And then I'm going to do a coat of the spray paint over that just to smooth everything out. So my first frame is for Emery's room and her colors are teal and coral and a little bit of yellow and green. So first I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to kind of measure it to make sure it's the right length and I'm going to cut that. And then I'm just going to use that to measure the rest of my ribbons and I'm going to do four ribbons across just because this is a smaller frame. And I could have been a Once you have all the ribbons cut, you're just going to lay them out so they're about evenly spaced and then you're just going to start gluing them on. When you glue on the ribbons, you want to really make sure they're nice and taut because you don't want them to be all saggy when you clip the bows on them. So when you do the bottom part of the ribbon, just put your fingers on both ends and then pull in opposite directions and it should make the ribbon really tight. This next step isn't necessary, but if you're making this for a gift, it definitely makes the back look a little bit cleaner, which I prefer even though no one really sees the back. But you're going to do a long strip of felt and then you're going to glue that over the top of the ribbons and that's just going to make it look cleaner and not quite as messy. Because Emery still wears a lot of headbands, I'm going to add hooks. And I got these hooks at my Lowe's, but you can get it at any hardware store, I'm sure. And I'm just going to glue four of those across the bottom, and those will be for hanging headbands. Alright, now you're going to take your uh, felt and you're going to cut two small rectangles and this is going to be to help glue the chain on. So once you have those, just take your chain and you can do it as long as you want, it doesn't have to be any certain length, just kind of whatever you want. And you're going to do a dab of glue and then lay the end of your chain in there. And then you're going to take your rectangle and then put quite a bit of glue on the back because you really want it to be secure. And then lay that right over the top of the chain and press down and this should hold the chain really well. All right, now you're going to do your embellishments, and I decided to use white buttons because Emery kind of has a button theme going on in her room. If you guys remember my flag banner video, I used buttons. So I'm just going to put those right on the corner, but you could do anything. You could use cardboard lettering, or you could use flowers, or pretty much whatever you want. So that is it for Emery's frame, and I'm going to show you guys what I did on Elena's frame. So for Elena's frame, we're actually going to use lace, and this is a little bit tricky to glue on, so I'm going to show you that technique. You're just going to cut four pieces of felt about the same width as the lace, and you're going to use the felt as kind of your fingers, I guess, for the felt so you don't burn your fingers on the glue. So you're just going to apply glue onto the felt and lay it on top of the ends of the lace. 
and it makes it so much easier and it also helps it kind of stay a little bit better. Um, it's pretty easy and then the blue ribbon you're just going to do the same as you did before. And then of course to clean it up a little bit, you're just going to put the long felt strips along the back. And I noticed this also helps it kind of lay up against the wall a little bit better, um, which I like as well. So of course you don't have to do this step, I just kind of prefer it. For Elena's frame, I also decided to use buttons. I kind of think buttons are a good contrast to the big frilly bows, but like I said before, you can do whatever you want. Alright you guys, so that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this would make an amazing baby shower gift. I think it's so cute and it's such a fun way to store your bows because you can see them, you can see what you have, and they're not in a big giant pile in a basket or something. So anyways, that's pretty much it guys, and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to check out my last video and also my vlog channel, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!